Here, first thing we need to realize is that each die row is independent of each other. And then the other thing we want to realize is that we are wanting to separate the outcomes into threes and not threes. Two outcomes, trials independent of each other, that is Bernoulli. And now that we know this is a Bernoulli, we can simply use the Bernoulli formula. Here we're going to have n equals 18, 18 trials. Let's call, let's call success getting a 3. So p is going to be 1, 6. We have n and p, and we need r. Which is number number of times as number of times success. We want the two. So here let's use the formula. It's gonna be combination. We have number of trials, eighteen. Choose uh, number of success, which is two. And then we have the probability of success, which is one six, to the power of the number of times of success, which is two. And then we have to have the probability of failure which is the complement of 1, 6. That's going to be 5, 6. And we have to have the power of the number of times of failure, which is going to be 16. That's 2 from 18. And then you type that in the calculator, which I will do that right now. 18 choose 2 is going to be 153. Take that times one six to the square times five six to the sixteen and that comes out to point two two nine nine. So this is a good example. Let me go ahead and uh take this chance to explain why. The Bernoulli formula works like this. If you're not interested to know why it works and just want to use it, uh, so you can stop the video right now. But if you're interested in why this formula works the way it does, then you can stay and watch this. Okay, so we're looking at 18 die row, die, 18 die rows, and you can think of that as 18 slots. For simplicity's sake, let me just make it six. Okay, so let's say we, we're trying to get two threes. Then there are really, let's say, let's say I put the threes in the first two spots. Okay, so there are only one possibility for these. And then for the rest, well, we can't get threes because we have to get exactly two threes. So these are going to be threes. And the rest aren't going to be three, so we have five possibilities for each of the rest. And we want, we're, we're trying to find a probability, so we're going to divide that by the sample space, which would be six, 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 six. So here you can see the one six to the second. And let's pretend that there, this, this is happening 14 times. So five 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 and then another uh twelve fives and then here it's another twelve six. So you can see here this is happening five six to the four fourteenth. Uh five six, not five sixteen. Five six to fourteen, which account for this part and this part. So here's the one six to the square. And then here's the five six to the fourteenth. Well what's this eighteen two business doing? Well so we to get two threes, we don't have to get them on the first two. We can get them on the first one and the third one, the first one and the fourth one, the first one and the fifth one, so on and so forth. So how many ways can two ones fit into 18 slots? Well, this is, that's going to be the same thing as 18 choose two. We don't care about the order these two ones goes in, so that's going to be combination. We have 18 ways to put them in, so that's kind of like 18 things to choose from. 
and we're going to be choosing two of them to be the three. So that's why after multiplying these two, we also multiply it with 18 choose two. And voila, there you go. That's where the Bernoulli formula comes from.